Abraham Lincoln friends, it's Mrs. Janes here. Um, I just wanted to start by saying how much I miss everybody. Um, I hope you guys are having fun at home with your parents or grandparents or whoever's taking care of you. Um, my book that I chose to read to you guys today is called Chester. And if you guys know me, you guys know how much I love cats. And I picked this book because this one kind of looks like my cat, Pompeii. Um, I was hoping she would make an appearance, but it is daytime and cats are nocturnal. So she's upstairs sleeping right now in her little cat bed. So here is Chester. And this is written by Melanie Watt, but it's crossed out and says by Chester. Hmm. I don't know if Chester is going to be a very nice cat. It says, Dear readers, I apologize for Chester's behavior in my mouse story. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sincerely, Melanie Watt. And then it says, blah, blah, blah. So I think everything written in red is something that Chester wrote. This is the dedication page. This is where the author will dedicate the book to somebody. And it's crossed out what the author wrote. And Chester wrote, for Chester, because I could not have made this book without him. He's the smartest, most handsome cat in the world. I wish I could be like him someday. And here's the title page. It says, Chester, not written and illustrated by Melanie Watt. Hmm. Seems like kind of a naughty kitty. Once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. Then Mouse packed his bags and went on a trip very, very far away, and we never saw him again. And then it says, hasta la vista, Mousy. Uh-oh. So Chester moved in and made a few changes to his place. It says, Chester's home sweet home, my curtains, Chester's hair. He crossed out the cheese and drew a fish, because kitties like to eat fish, not cheese. But Mouse returned home. Oh yes, did I mention he brought back a really big souvenir with teeth? So I think the author's trying to get Chester out of this book. Chester's face is like, oh no. Back to the story. Once upon a time there was a mouse. He lived in, Chester, move out of the way. He lived in the country with his vegetarian dog who only ate carrots. Then Melanie begged Chester to write a better story and it goes something like this. Once upon a time there was me. Chester stands for charming, handsome, envy of mouse, smart, talented, envy of Melanie, really handsome. Chester lived in Chesterville, where mice weren't allowed. It was a beautiful day. Until it started to rain. Look how wet Chester is. He does not look happy. Now, as I was saying, once upon a time there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. And then Chester wrote really tiny down here and he lived happily ever after. The end. The mouse says, I can't work like this. Chester, this is where I draw the line. Nope, I'm drawing the line. Do not cross this line. Keep out, Chester's side. <sighs> Chester's not being very nice to this author. Chester, that's enough. Hand over the markers this instant. Chester's busy. Hi, I'm Melanie Watt, and I'm very angry. Hello, I'm boring, and I'm jealous of Chester, says the little mouse. Chester, I'm warning you. Hand over the marker and apologize before I count to three. One, two, three, and then Chester wrote, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. 19, 20, 21, 20. Ah! All right, Chester, you want your own story? You want to be the star of this book? Well, get ready. Here it is. Chester says, finally. 
Once upon a time, there was a cat named Chester. He lived in a house in the country. Chester was a very handsome cat, especially when he wore pink. And then Chester wrote, you wouldn't. Toot toot. Chester says, now it's personal. <laughs> Look how funny Chester looks with a little toot toot on. The end. And then Chester was not very nice and drew a mustache and beard and glasses on the author. There's actually a bunch of Chester books. I got this one out of our school library. So if you, when we get back to school, if you want to check out a Chester book, um, there's a couple more that are really funny. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, I miss seeing you guys and I hope you guys have, um, I hope you guys are having fun with your family. All right. Bye.